we are live, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, right from the beginning. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been a while since we're a new Hitman. New contracts, new fun, new ways to dismember people. Well, not dismember them. I don't know, they might do this one, you never know. Okay, change profile. No planers, we always have them. Uh, yes, I acknowledge I have. I accept. I haven't read one bit of that. But it won't make a difference. I want to play the game, but I have to accept it. Okay. Uh, English, yes. Subtitles, yes, we'll need them all. It's all fine. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm actually going to go to the website and carry everything over. Okay. that section of the carryover. This is a little more complicated than it probably needs to be. There you go. There you go. Tell us with a bit more of that since it was all only one system beforehand. Apparently not so much. Okay, that's not really worth it there. So apparently, we can't actually log in because the website is unavailable. Okay, I did see on Twitter they were a little behind on such things. Oh, uh, so Twitter it is Hitman Three has arrived and everyone wants to play at once, which we're tracking and have. And we'll have everyone in game with their crop progress as soon as possible. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you uh, make a successful game. But, however, <laughs> you're not prepared. So these things do happen, guys. I am going to keep trying to get it up. Here, because it's got a lot easier than trying to do it there. Uh, let's reload. Let's 
remembering an old password here, it's going to take me a moment. <laughs> Just... Won't let me actually put in my password. <laughs> this is having issues and a bit of tissues at the same time. Let's see if we can't just reload that then in order to be able to do that one. Okay. There we go. Service is temporarily unavailable still, even with the password put in. Okay. Let's see. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually just go and watch something in the meantime. Let's see. Let's try the trailer for Hitman. Whilst we're here. have something. Uh, let me see now. Believe it or not, I haven't actually watched the trailer. So we're going to set the trailer up whilst I see if we can actually get into the uh, broadcast, which would be nice, or the game itself. Let me see now, I just need to get the right screen here. since I've done this.
I did a pre-order, I paid for stuff, but the lux that I normally wouldn't. I went for all of the cosmetic -y stuff, because that's who I am. Uh, apparently. I didn't know I was, but I am now. So, that's new to me as well. Let's see if we can't sign in here again. Anything else? traffic on this website must be quite large because they are having proper issues at the moment. Uh, can't well, can't even just load the actual homepage or not. Wow. It does amaze me how publishers are so surprised on day one that they need so much service every single time after they're the ones promoted so much and are expelled one people to play it. Like, and they would have known from pre-orders and so on and so forth percentage on the amount of people who are going to buy it on the day, you know, and, and do an actual realistic amount here, like this is uh, pretty unfortunate. Let's see if I can log in at a different point, or other, no, oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's an unhealthy website. Trying to log in multiple places at this stage. Waiting for a response. Never a good sign. Now, I grant you, I probably should have checked this in advance. So, my apologies. But we will get there. He says, with hope in his heart. Oh, what is? Yep. Yeah. Always just waiting for a response. Waiting for a response. Gameplay trailer in the meantime, whilst we are trying to figure out what's going on. Just waiting for a response of our website. Okay, it doesn't appear anything to do with it, but at the moment is just not accessible. Chat there. Yeah. There we go. No gameplay card card again at the second. The world of assassination is on the brink. All because of one man. As you take on the role of Agent 47, his deadly abilities, tools, and instincts are at your fingertips. You get to travel the world and kill interesting people. And with complete freedom of approach, making the how, the when, and the where all up to you. 47 can get in anywhere, sometimes with the aid of a stolen access card a glean key code, hacking the lock with his new camera, or just using good old-fashioned brute force. And sometimes all you need is an invitation. You can blend in anywhere. Disguises offer you access to corresponding areas, but be careful around enforcers. They will call your disguise if they get a good look. 47's arsenal has never been sharper. From the classics, 
to the state of the art. Of course, almost everything is a weapon in 47's hands. But a creative assassin need never touch a weapon. Surrounding you is a living, breathing world of opportunity. Action, reaction, cause and effect. From unfortunate accidents to careful exploitation of a bad habit. You can trick someone else into doing the dirty work. Or you could simply book a meeting with your target. But it's no walk in the park. You must adapt as circumstances change. Your targets are some of the best protected people in the world. Some of them so elusive, they are only exposed for a limited time. Unlock new tools and weapons in our mastery tracks. Refine your approach as you advance across 20 mastery tiers per level with new starting locations, new ICA gear, exotic distractions, and stashed weapons. Receive ratings based on your distinct playstyle and skill level. And keep challenging yourself with a slew of inventive escalations and complications. Master the art of assassination, and nothing can stop you. Hello, Game Maker's Toolkit. Something that I love about stealth games is the way they often have these large, open-ended levels. Stuff like Camp Omega in Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, or the various shifting mansions in Dishonored 2, or the intricate Palisade Bank in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Unlike a lot of video game levels which can feel like linear and claustrophobic theme park rides, these stealth stages feel more like a fully explorable space, filled with people going about their business on clockwork routines. You can enter almost every building, pick up dozens of objects, and disguise yourself as loads of different people. So I'm left wondering, how, exactly, is a Hitman level designed? Well, to figure this out, let's focus on a single level, and I'm going to pick the bombastic, Florida-based racing mission from Hitman 2 called The Finish Line. Let's zoom out and look at the making of Miami. Of course, there's only so much that I can tell you about the making of this level, but I know a couple guys who can help. Yes, uh, my name is Jakob Mikkelsen and I'm a game director on Hitman 2. Uh, yeah. I'm Eskil, I'm the associate game director on Hitman 2. Yes, yeah. So I wanted to know where a Hitman level began. What's the very first step taken when bringing one of these stages to life? So typically we, 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 we brainstorm a lot of uh, kind of locations uh, uh, and then it's like wouldn't it be cool if yeah. 47 went to a race? Wouldn't it be cool to do a fashion show? Wouldn't it be cool to do uh, the streets of Mumbai with all the slums and all that stuff, right? So, so that, that's kind of the originating idea. So this level is set during the Global Innovation Race, a sort of Formula One style race on the coast of Miami. Globe trotting assassin Agent 47 can explore the food stands, the paddocks, and VIP lounges, all while a race speeds on around him. Developer IO Interactive liked this idea because games set at racing events always put you on the track, but this Hitman level would let you explore the areas you never normally get to explore. Everything but the track, basically. So what's next? Once we've uh, once we settled on on a location, we begin to kind of develop the characters, the Miami Um how, how do they work in the mission? Miami has two targets for Agent 47 to assassinate. There's a racing driver called Sierra Knox and her father, the inventor Robert Knox. Robert is what IO calls a dweller. He sticks to just one location. That's his office building, where other than a tiny public showroom. The entire location requires strict security clearance. Io calls that a fortress. If left to his own devices, Knox sticks to a pretty small loop. 
He visits the android testing lab, looks out over the balcony, talks to some scientists, heads upstairs to his office, and so on. He simply repeats this loop over and over again. Sierra Knox, however, is a very different beast. For the first 20 odd minutes, she's driving around the racetrack in her car. There are ways to assassinate her while she's driving, but she'll also start a new routine on foot after the race ends. Now she'll bounce around the VIP area, and at this point, she's more of a roamer, a target who walks around more public spaces. So that's the location and the target scramped up. What's next? And then we ask the question, and that's kind of like a recurring question, what could possibly go wrong here, and how can Agent 47 kind of get a a grip on the situation, how can he affect the situation? So Robert Knox might be stuck in a predictable little loop, but that clockwork pattern can be disrupted in lots of different ways. Mess with the air conditioning in his office, and he'll go to the bathroom to use eye drops, which you have hopefully poisoned. Turn off the satellite, and he'll go to fix it, giving you a moment to boot him onto the track. Break his prized car, and he'll come to repair it, giving you a moment to... whoops! Sorry, pal. You can even get him to leave the building if you're particularly smart. Each of these murders requires a bit of setup. You'll need to find items like poison for his eye drops or an octane booster to sabotage the car. You'll need to visit various secure locations like Knox's heavily guarded office, and you'll often need to wear a certain disguise. And Io can use this multi-step approach to tease you into more assassination possibilities. When you discover a military robot that uses facial recognition to pick out and kill targets, your mind lights up at the possibility of finding a photo of Robert Knox himself to feed into the robot. We invite you in and we, we, we set up the moments in a way so, so, so you can kind of take advantage of it. You know this, Mark, because you touched upon it so nicely again in, in, in this uh, big heart of repetition where you, you talk about the gunpowder suddenly being... In, and of course, when you finally find the cannon, there's a ton of gunpowder there, so, you, so it's not like, oh, I need it here. But it is just to rush you and to tell you, ooh, there's something else here. And the exploding golf will face that. I constantly give you a little promise. And, 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 and little things that you, little sensations. Sierra has her own routines. When she's on the track, you can of course shoot her as she drives down the straight, or sneak into the Kronstadt pit building and rig her car to explode. But there's lots more ways to deal with her when she gets off the track. You can dress up as a flamingo and boot her down a hatch, kill her with a poisoned IV drip, or off her during a drinking game. And at some point, you'll probably figure out that there are multiple ways to kill Sierra while she's on the podium, like being able to poison the champagne in the trophy or rig the pyrotechnics to explode. You might overhear this in a conversation. Characters in Hitman tend to have very useful conversations the moment Agent 47 is in earshot. It's one of the few ways that Hitman feels quite scripted and gamey, but it does give you that awesome feeling of overhearing useful information. You might also wander into the podium building while exploring and see that you can poison the champagne, another little tease. Or you might see the assassinations on the challenge list. These can be a bit spoilerific, though you can turn them off, but they also give you more hints at possible assassinations. But the really interesting thing is, by default, Sierra doesn't win the race. She'll come second, meaning she won't visit the podium building at all. And this adds a really cool wrinkle to the level. To get her to the podium, you either need to figure out how to help her win, or make her opponent, Moses Lee, lose. There's almost point-and-click style problem-solving going on, where you need to figure out what steps to take to get Sierra to win. Now, Io went back and forth over whether Sierra should win or not, but ultimately decided to make her lose. Making it so that you can make this, the decision whether she wins or not, uh, it, 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 it puts you in power of, of, of what it is. Like, it, it, I think that's very uh, hitman-y and, and, and kind of very... It's like, it's, it's a bit of teasing. Uh, we like to like, taunt yeah. our uh, targets as well. Yeah. Right? So now I'm gonna make her win and then I'm gonna kill her. Yes, right? so that's quite just as like, ah, and then <laughs> Pulling off these kills often means waiting on the character's schedules. The five or so minutes Robert Knox spends roaming Kronstadt, or the nearly 20 minutes Sierra takes to drive around. And this waiting is a double-edged sword for Io. 
The schedules do make the world feel more alive. In most games, it feels like the world is designed specifically for the player, with bombastic events triggering perfectly for you to see the, find ways to speed things up yourself. So often we try to make 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 uh, situations where you can shortcut the entire thing. Um, one example in, uh, in Miami is that you can disqualify Moses Lee and thereby ending the race and then getting Shara on the stage. And you can also disqualify Shara and then getting Moses on the stage uh, and, 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 and make that. So instead of trying to make it a kind of a thing that you have to wait for or a limitation, then we try to turn it around and then make it something that you can also control to some degree. So that's the high concept design, the location, the targets, and the dramatic moments. Now, let's talk about the nitty gritty of the level design. So Miami is basically split into two halves. On the one side is the stands, the food trucks, VIP bars, the paddocks, a medical tent, and a motel. On the other is the multi-story concept building, the podium building, and the marina. For the most part, you can see the left as Robert's Domain, and the right as Sierra's. The two halves are separated by the track, where various racers are driving around. Having a racetrack that cuts your level in two is, 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 is a really bad idea if, if you want to make a level where it's easy to get from A to B. Yeah. Uh, so the level designers, they, they spend quite a lot of time on, on finding as many ways to cross the track, uh, 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 kind of scatter, spread it out all over the, throughout the level, uh, up and down the track. That's why there's two overhead walkways and a number of subway passages that link up to an underground oh, parking garage. Yeah, now, yeah, IO describes the design of some of the best Hitman levels as being a snail house with Swiss cheese. And I think okay. the best way to so explain these terms is to look to a place that should Aaron totally be a Hitman DLC level for, uh, like This okay, so Swedish furniture store this, tries yeah, to pack okay, as much is, stuff uh, into one location as possible. And so everything wants you to look at everything. So the store's layout way. provides an obvious and easy to follow path that takes you from the living room stuff, through the kitchens, into the bedrooms, and through the children's area, before leading you, naturally, into the market hall and checkout. That's the that snail that, that could take half hour itself. cheese is all the holes between the rooms uh, that create no. shortcuts, so seasoned IKEA veterans and staff members can bypass entire sections and get to where they're going more easily. In the world of Hitman, the snail house allows the designers to fit everything into a tiny footprint. An entire racetrack that feels credible, with all the expected amenities and hundreds of NPCs, can be squeezed into a tiny area that's optimized to run on consoles. However, the area still feels pretty enormous because the winding pathways means every major location takes considerable effort to get to. And IO guides you to those locations using in-universe navigation like lines on the floor, helpful signs, and maps. However, the Swiss cheese effect allows for dozens of secret ways to get to places more quickly. Fences you can scale, windows you can sneak through, elevator shafts you can climb, back doors that open onto new areas. These create tiny shortcuts between the major locations that give you a feeling of mastery as you find them. Where a novice Hitman player is schlepping it from one side of the map to the other, a veteran player can almost teleport around the map. Here's another level design technique. Uh, we don't do, we, we try to avoid dead ends. Uh, um, so so you, there's like a typical, typically toilets are dead ends. Uh, but, but most other rooms actually have at least two exits. Uh, so, so, so you're never stuck stuck. There might be some, some challenge or some things you have to overcome, but, but you're never ever uh, kind of at a dead end that you have to kind of turn around. Multiple exits also means multiple entrances. So the obvious way to get into the Kronstadt building is through the front door. But you can also enter via the parking lot, find a route via the podium building, walk through this door up on the walkway, and more. This gives the player more options and lets them feel like they're making their own decisions and not following a set, scripted path. With these locations designed, IO also thinks about how the disguise system will work. Hitman, of course, is a unique stealth franchise because the game isn't really about hiding behind walls or in cardboard boxes, it's about hiding in plain sight, so you can walk out a guard, take his uniform, and then wander about in the security offices without much worry. In Miami, Agent 47 can freely explore the stands area and most of the marina section unobstructed as a member of the public, but he'll need a VIP badge that
impossible. There's no way you can do suit only on this. And then I remember Jakob just saying, no, no, don't worry. And that's a Hitman level. But these rules might not work for every stage. I'm personally very opposed to kind of rules dictating how things should be because then everything is going to be the same. Uh, so, so I prefer that we, we use them as guidelines uh, because we need to challenge ourselves in, in, kind of in, in, in this thing. Indeed, IO tries to make each level different with different levels of verticality, different densities of people, different sizes, and even thinks about them in terms of being in a chain. So the mission before Miami, Night Call, is dark and claustrophobic, and the level after Miami, San Fortuna, has an enormous fortress that takes up most of the map, leaving Agent 47 very few places he can explore safely. So the Hitman games have all sorts of level design techniques, and I think they can be applied to all sorts of games. This idea of characters moving on a schedule as a way to let players make plans and make the world feel alive. This IKEA-inspired language of snail houses and Swiss cheese, and the multiple tiers of safety. This is what makes Hitman levels so good, so replayable, and so much fun to master, and I think lots of designers can learn from this. Sink it later, I assume. Right, okay. Hey, thanks for watching, and cheers to Jakob and Eskil for their time. All of my backers so can watch the full interview enough. over on Patreon. This is crazy that we're <laughs> like the one game where you cannot drive a car, and the first thing we want to do is like show cars. cars, and yes. is everybody gonna go, ooh, Don't you can drive in the rain? Patrons oh, on the behind the scenes tier can also get a look at the There's process case, hey, of making this in. episode. Special thanks to everyone who supports time. GMTK and keeps the show going, month okay. after month. Yeah, that sweet tones of Diana's voice. Come on. And I invert the controls. Immediately I know what I'm doing. Oh, there. Right, okay. And we are running, people. We are running. Welcome to the agent program initiate. Should this I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. This is the first reasonably priced monocular with high end features. It lets you get really up close. Majestic, isn't it? Yes, you're I'm Diane. You I'll photos. take you to your quarters. With incredible zoom and crisp and someone likes to keep secrets. You can attach a tripod and smartphone to shoot photos. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. The ingenious I'm monocular like was invented by David Shaw. I'm in a professional nature photographer. Agents and, and handlers work in unity. You know the expression. Know your enemy. Ever since I was a child, like no, that, that, I was that part is my outdoors. job. Know your enemy. I'm in high school. I, I discovered my passion you also for need yourself. I'm Most of the on time, it. you'll find me. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like taking lives? Random, disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. I'm going to be. I am still also trying to see if I can... Oh, it is! It's a flashback! Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, oh, Miss Birdwood. Yes, not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility boy. where others see limitation. Boy. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. This is pretty much the same as it has always been. They haven't changed it. So I don't really need to be doing this, but we will go through the steps anyway. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, Welcome yeah. to advanced mission training. This operation originally took okay. place. 
haven't done this in a while. As previous. Tests have established. You exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Okay, the control keeps going. I am in technical deep all day.
And back we go. Oh, look. Since I've been gone, I've signed in. Somehow I've actually signed your line up your away. That's impressive. Okay, you know what? I've done this I don't know how many times, so. I think I'm just gonna skip this. Exit menu. I'm actually going to play some of the action of the fan, yes. Okay, let's have an actual look at what we have here. Dubai, Darfur. Skip Berlin, never skip Berlin, people. Okay. No? I can, yeah, I do like the fact that they've brought everything. Like, this is very sensitive. Okay, Hitman 3 story. Story so far, shall we, people? Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate yeah, the them. Constant. That no was one of my favorite levels, actually, as well. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Guess what? No, 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 no. Okay. Top of the world, ma. Top of the world, ma. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top Just assassins working for. There we go. Oh, I was excited. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Yeah, we 
cast the sound. The partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. What? You never do. I see someone got his memory yeah. back. Oh, that's right, yeah. Wait, is that a beacon? Nope. Nope, that's a chopper. <laughs> that high up? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirmed target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think Already. I know why. The Constant has what? escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors okay. and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to lockdown. run. Lockdown. We all know what lockdown feels like at this stage, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Okay. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, just a pen, we guys. return okay. the favor. Happy hunting. Need to hear more of 47, though, guys. Error. Wow. Retry. It's going to be one of those days with the servers. Okay, right, okay. Okay, we get two for one already in the first mission. Like, that seems... Okay, see, I don't have any of my gear because... We wasn't able to. So we have to do this bare bones, guys. Difficulty casual. We're gonna go casual until we get our stuff, and then we'll go all in. We've got professional. Unlimited saves. Okay, don't redo the saves. All mission story guidelines available. Surveillance cameras are active. Camera alerts guards if illegal activity is spotted. That's. Okay, yeah, that's always one way. Uh, combat is challenging but fair. We're going to avoid as much combat as possible. The idea here is silent assassin. Not gonna get on the first game. Not unless it's spent like an hour or something. But, like, we're gonna learn the lay of the land, what's available to use, because I'm gonna need everything I can get. I don't even have a coin. Not even a single coin, people. I'm gonna have to use what's on hand to distract. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Can I go up the... That would be a no. Okay, so do I... I didn't kill anyone. Wow. 
I was pretty sure that was gonna kill someone. How far up this way can they go? Seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. There's the camera. I do you like that they've always had to go with lock for this? Position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose okay. them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. They come up before. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business Very here? Question. Let's find out. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. So you didn't like getting searched, is it? Alright. Oh, no, it's gonna be what this is. It's gonna be like, just be on your flower bed here and do it. And just like, oh, is that okay? Oh, we're gonna need that distraction. Okay. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best okay. shot. 
I can hide in the bush to the right and just drag that guy in. That's what I'm gonna say. So if I was just, I don't know, hidden right here. snapping next. My own problem is again. Oh yeah, you're 47. Digging the glasses. Just so we can find that properly. So, like, she's not going to notice that I'm someone with a blue vehicle when I go up these stairs, because she is waiting for me. Okay. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Seriously? Oh, it's 
do this again. Target. Okay. You ever think about us leaking your finger and dipping it into your No. Please don't say things like that. I really no, 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 no. That's disgusting. close. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Okay. See if I can scan from here, shall we? Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network way. of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. Okay. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. Okay. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Guys. Look at the guy climbing up the side of the building. That's way too many. Witnesses. Locked it up. And time for camera, camera. Not screwing. Should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Uh, oh, I can't blend in with the and stuff because I don't have. Okay. Open. Okay, I am 
trespassing in this outfit. I might have wanted to take out that guy at the end of the spot so I could come up here, but okay for now. And he seemed to be okay. I need this out of it. I am not going to get anywhere without it. Let's track this body past the camera as well. Like, oh, the body gives me away on the camera, I'm not going to be happy. somebody unnecessarily. But how was I supposed to know that was going to happen when I got the witch? Open, there we go. Oh, yeah, still got to not be seen. Oh, shit, I must go and get the, um, uh, from the, 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 oh, what did I say? I was going to get, I can't remember what it was now. So, what is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. You don't think they're just gonna... All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think like you need to pull hour. one of the racks here I to gain think. access to the terminal. One, I didn't put there. Two, no notice. Okay, so we're gonna have to Silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Okay, and you're locked quick to get out of that. Oh, I'm locked in here. Okay, that, that, that's not good. Nobody's coming, like security isn't coming. Is that because I actually, I took out the security guard who'd be coming in here? Does that mean I've just locked him here until, uh, down? It'd be the laziest security guard in the world with a gun that doesn't actually check the room at all. Please, I like I I, I encourage it at this stage. That's it. You are the laziest security guard in the world. 47, there are just some days you get way too lucky. Way too lucky. Oh, for the love of God, do something. Nothing. The 
Do I have to knock you out? There's no way I'm gonna get oh here comes the second guy. Will you be as lazy as the other guy? Oh, apparently so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a slight he's not quite as lazy. As expected. Nothing to see here. Okay, is so he switching off the alarm now? Oh, it's time coming up. That's it. Totally just except that nothing needs to be done there. Yes. Sorry about Sorry. that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, uh, I think yeah, I've got won. it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Someone in maintenance. Yeah. Here. Is this door open now? Hey, it's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. Exploding golf ball. I've never taken things to such an extreme before. Uh, yes, I promise I'll start attending <laughs> anger management. <laughs> I know I have issues. Admit it. That's the first step, okay. right? Anyway, I've locked the golf ball up in the maintenance scrum. Not that many of us have keys, and people tend to stay out of that room anyways. So no one will get hurt. I'll take it home when my shift is over. Maintenance room! I love you too. I'll be home. Right. Bye. Let me see, where does she go? I need to take this guy out. Don't need... Take her. I'll get his out for the minutes. I am so over the city. Okay. I'm not even nervous. I think the answer there is yes. You say, where is that? I'm gonna hope it's so. Hey, maintenance. Yeah, you. I'm not sorry. I did not realize at all that you were a spawner. Oops. Don't is a pleasant word, but yeah, there you and your colleague can sit. Okay, I'm going to pick up the actual card, which is what I was here for in the first place. That's what she said, wasn't it? Ah, uh, no, I don't have anything in order to get in. It's my soul will explode and go full. That said, there was a guy. Maintenance room. I think I had a secret room, but oh, that's conveniently just popped up now. And, like happened to have the card on me. Alert must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? No. Are heading your way. Be careful. I didn't notice a thing different there. Again, the laziest security out the world is not so Yeah, yeah, 
don't actually go to the back room. Like, I mean, don't go to the back room. The room but, like, wow. Talk about lazy. And, of course, it's all fine. Yes, yeah, so that's it. Oh, I hate this system already. Okay. I have no idea what little thing you can get from the room at all. Now all you need to do the is access the terminal care, and use that. the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Well, looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. That's the gold Excellent. Bars. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Elevator doors are now open. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Building cameras are now disabled. Cameras not quite well Chance is like seriously, I can come out here and check a golf ball that far. Yeah, I'm gonna waste it. I'm hoping though, if I end the steam map with it, I keep it in that way. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, and use it to start the show. Yeah, that's my age.
is wrong. Six. Keep your distance, sir. Mysterious headless guard. I'm almost under water from just can he actually know it's people lock out to. Apparently has a head to aim at banana at. No, 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 no. Can like I put the banana on the hand and someone slip and fall on and like tragically die? That would be way too funny. Way too funny. Please stay back. I just did that in front hey, of So, now the question is, can I replan the mission? Yes, I want to replan it, because, well, I have none of my things. So, now let me see if I can't also...
Wow, the IO website is still just a mess. <laughs> uh, guys. Welcome yes. to Dubai 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the... 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Not gonna knock that over this time. Up we go. Use your camera and scan the lock. I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. Who is this person? Lucy Phillips. So, I'm humbly proud to the Burj Al Ghazali. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, if you don't like that, the scepter, if you find the other name too. Now, please. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Yeah, security conscious, that is. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Oh, there was a man, I remember, it's all I'm going to say, like, but there wasn't. 
I've never noticed little bits getting sucked in there. That's kind of cool. should be just about finished with his opening speech. This is where it gets real. The last nine hours have been a tutorial for what's coming now. You'll have some of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royalty, politicians, YouTubers, you name it. Everyone's okay. in the building today. So that means new no. rules. Okay, before we go through those, I want to point your attention to the pile of papers on the table. It contains names and information of oh. guests, the new terminal passwords fresh from IT and run sheets for everything that's going to take place over the next okay. three hours. Grab one before you leave. Memorize everything. All right, first things first. Remember your places. These are important people who do not know. need to be burdened by your presence. Unseen is a requirement. Second, you, know you will overhear conversations oh. of a sensitive nature. I don't believe I have to tell you that half of these people are rich beyond your wildest dreams. Rich means weird. Okay. Whatever you hear in the scepter will stay here. <laughs> Understood? I didn't sign an NDA with the girth of Sheikh Omar's grandfather just to have one of you idiots call up the press with a news story. And finally, the food is for guests only. Unless you're a chef, there's no such thing as tasting. I think we all recall what happened at the grand opening of Sheikh Omar's solar Very panel plant bad. last year. Oh, tell me. Nobody wore white for five months after that incident. Oh, one last thing. We've installed keypads on most of the doors here to keep raunchy guests from sneaking off to do their dirty business. You have no idea how filthy some of these okay. people can be. Anyway, the code is 4706. Don't it? forget it, and don't mention it to any of the guests. Oops. That's an order. The camera up don't there, can you go away? I'll be honest with you. I'm sure you all hold your lives dear, and I'd hate to report you to the Sheikh's family. Make me proud. That's all. Okay. So. Okay, Cholo, you can start with the toilets then. Excuse me, why do I get the shit job? Let's right, find. You did say come and banana picking up. I swear, I'm just obsessed with bananas now. You don't need a tip, right? You did say come and collect whatever needed to be collected before leaving. Yeah. Hello, sir. Okay, maybe I don't need any of that requirement. Oh, 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 oh. Hello there, sir. Too suspicious to blend in, apparently, now. Stop. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Holy shit! Hello? Ah, oh, there we go. Just get in her face a bit. If she yells at you, yell back. Take control of the situation, or she'll never respect you. Okay, that was a little too close for comfort.
Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Very convenient. I'd say they're all notices to someone inside the building. Yeah. If they weren't, I'd be a little worried. Well, they have really high expectations of what staff will do. Right. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. <laughs> okay, I will not snap the neck. Yeah, hug the wall with a, not a dead body, not a sculpture body. That's it. Hug the wall. A chopper is very loud on the roof. Okay, let's It's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane yeah. idea to start with. Did he say I can sing? Contract with the golf ball, and I'm calling it the golf ball conspiracy. I don't care. Right, where's my golf ball? Exploding golf ball. Just appears as soon as you have the card. 
Vlad must have done something. Can you see anything different yeah. in the room? It's not the same one every time. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its okay, way. So they change it every time? Really? Like, so there has to be an indication I'm not seeing. This takes a bit. Oh. Come on. So the first time I did this, two guys came into the room. Well, that was when I didn't have the key card. So I have to wait for the second guy, it looks like I do. Okay. Where is this? Oh, here it comes. Is that the second guy coming out of... What, what was the security room or something from the looks of it? There he comes. Okay. It's a quick look. Doesn't see the gun barrel sticking out, but okay. coming down here. How often does this go off, guys, that you don't get something to sort it out? Yes. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? I know there's nothing different about any of these. They all look identical. Guards are heading your way. Okay, because neither of them. That's two guards again this time. Okay. Access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The okay, meeting has yeah, been booked. Thanks. The partners should be moving up here Sending shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off and for private conversations. I've got to figure out where oh, that comes from. Building cameras are now disabled. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. So it yeah. was 
ahead this time. That's different. Nah. Don't pick up the key in front of people. That was just stupid. Green sir. Absolutely. What? Forty seven is very superior to you should always see forty seven. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Oh, you can just parachute off. Try? What okay. did I ever do to you? He said it just a hundred today. Like nothing. Providence, everything. Providence made me, and at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. Your delusion of exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. Mm. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Actual death. Me. Nothing. My friend, however, well. Let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. 47. What the? Yeah. Finish it. Give me a moment. Got it here. Where the hell is that security panel? Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get okay, my that did not go according to plan. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, they go straight for so I should really take them out immediately. So, knife one. I don't want a gun fire, because that would probably give away my position. So. He wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. 
I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, please vacate the room. This is a private conversation. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You... you are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long... Mm. I'm due. Revenge. Revenge? How but now? You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me, and at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take it for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can hey, battle. Rock, rock, rock. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Oh. Finish it. Seven. Finish it. Yeah, snap his neck. Oh, yeah. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the yeah, edge yeah, of I'm town. With you, I'm just going to dispose of the bodies like a professional. Sabotage. Oh! Well, that's kind of cool. So I get in the meeting room, they both come down to take these. I can sabotage with a kitchen knife. Okay. 
They jump to their deaths if we do the evacuation. Okay, interesting concept. Skydive off here. Oh, perfect spot for exploding golf ball. Okay, that's a shortcut. Fifteen I have to get for achievement. Oh. Okay. Next time. Well done, Agent 47. I doubt it's a silent assassination, but it's not bad. Location, so we don't have to do the outside bit again. Oh, oh, the meeting room. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got that melee weapon. Fair enough. Kitchen. Nice. So we got a couple of places. So we'll go back to do stuff. We've really done quite a bit, actually. The man behind the curtain. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. I get a feeling it's going to be yeah. a, a face-off at the end. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will Good be over. Diana is Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Yeah. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. Well, the only one got away. I hope you like the rain, 47. Rain, did he say? Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? Okay. We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Oh, yeah. Those are always words that end Or you well. will. Soon enough. Okay. There's no doubt he's gonna actually find some way to turn Diana or something like that against us. Not now. Not after all of this time. Okay. Mm 
continue the story. See where we're getting here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can't get the full game done today. At least one playthrough. I'm gonna go back and play the plots of the game. End of the line. Plots. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Okay. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, <laughs> alive. <laughs> Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Oh, Providence. I like this. It began here, and it ends here. The poetry of it all. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate okay. without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Fair enough. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Right, okay. Plane. Oh, we have a gun this time. Coins. That's all we have. Like, what do we have here as choices anyway? I've used. Interesting. Snowball. Oh, red briefcase is quite sexy. <laughs> Completely obnoxious. The white one is just elegant. Right. Okay. And we have the dark. Didn't get the golf ball though. Oh, that's a shame. I still want to go. Okay. Now that I'm gonna put it into. Oh. Has this moved all my stuff over then? Oh, red is just so murderous. It's fantastic. The green was not bad either. They're all quite nice, but the red was just murder all over. Okay, we will, uh, yeah. Settle in. Right, kill Alexi. And find the case file. This is the plan. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson That's and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Out, anyone? Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. Okay. 
So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Nice, Mike. Well, that's the target. Yeah, the PI seems like a good person to like disguise it out if he's already. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas, Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I mean, this is the worst wall security in the world. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Seems like a plan. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about this text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. We had a really good talk about it. So I just need to check. She's a bit excessive. I think stop considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. I guess know I what we're doing, so don't worry about that. Freak out. Say I must have done something to provoke her. Shit, man. Caroline really did a number on you. This house is mainly luggage, not furniture. PI with a badge. And blue gloves. Probably see an investigation just yet, then. Mr. Whitman, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. I have yet to see a mystery I no. haven't solved. And I don't give a toss about my fame, if that's what you're worried about. My lips are... Say so, so. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at well, the crime yeah. scene. You assume too much, okay. Madam Carlyle. The crime scene, if such exists, is never... Okay. Do as you wish. However, I expect a result in a time... Is someone fashion. dead? Fernsby will take over from here. I'm Mr. Fernsby. Where would you like to start your investigation? Where's the family? 
I like to prime the suspects a bit. Madam Carlyle's family members are all in this room. Let me start from the city. If you'll follow me this way. Priming, you say. It's like planting seeds that will grow and propelling actions and words. I see. Do you wish to plant any such seeds with me before I leave? I already have. And fruit they bear. You are bold, not easily faced, self-controlled and always a step ahead. All qualities a murderer would benefit from. Would you? I wouldn't know. If that is all, sir, please do come and find me if you're ready to inspect the crime scene. Just one question. Is that burned leather I can smell it? Unusual for a butler to burn leather. I don't, I, I don't know what you, what you... Seeds, Mr. Burnsby. Seeds. Right, okay, so, there has a crime been a commission, apparently. We must find out what the crime is, as well as everything else that's going on here. Like, no idea what's going on. But even though Mother is still alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I can. She will definitely want to read it, and no matter what. I just know she'll be disappointed in me. Again. My legs are really weird. I, I need you, Cassie. I'm sorry, I know. I'll uh, hang up. Not supposed to do this. What? Christ, sorry. Bye. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, 
You might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. How's everything coming along, Helene? Very Mr. Yes. Fernsby, I'm ready to see the crime scene. Very well, Mr. Whitman. If you'll follow me, sir. The difference in voices or anything. The lack of hair under the hat, the tattoo on the back of it. Like, I mean, these people. But, but let's not dig into it too much. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement yes. of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled okay. to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not no, dead at all. Shock. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. That's going to be very gracious of us. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will that? tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's Sorry. younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked oh, from I the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Whose room is that, then? A locked room murder, Mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, let's have a quick scare of the roof. Did they hide in the wardrobe the whole time? Nope, that's just a new perspective we'd like to have. Yeah, what's this? Suicide note, you said. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Okay. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons well, last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. True. You can be planning on buying something, would you know? Yeah. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Okay. Well, okay. I am taking the kitchen knife. Yes, I do know how to use the camera. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant. Short-lived plant poison around 10 p.m. last night. And poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. This is kind of his job. Right on. Secret passage? Ah, oh, yes. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret in ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. 
Okay, so this is where this comes from. So nobody knows it. Okay. I've no idea why, but he looks like a guy who would hold a newspaper. That's the can you beat someone to death with a newspaper? Also. The news is killing people. <laughs> Have you ever fallen in love with something? Maybe we should get back, get back to, back to it. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more maid crying in the kitchen. One so watch maid. yourself around, Mr. Patrick. Don't worry about me. It was the last one. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until okay. this morning. That leaves Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carla. So the handwriting analysis is Mr. Patrick, probably the easiest. Can way I to do finish. anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from So how does one solve a murder mystery 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I'll come back later. How very kind of you, dear Mr. Fernsby. I hope to see you soon. Creepy old git. Patrick Carlyle. Okay. Can you tell me where you were yes. yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He oh, ratted did. me out. Elaine, give us some privacy. And what did he rat you out over, dare I ask? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need okay. is more hassle. Speak up. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? Okay. It speaks of the blonde, then. May I get you anything, Mr. Patrick? Privacy? Maybe stop keeping an Jill. eye on me? Who put you up to this? Mother. Just doing my rounds. Right. God, I hate this place. Okay. Let's try back in the family meeting room. I have a whole hell you pull this place. Come on, man. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about yes, my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> Your wife had a headache? Uh, the, the short of it. Uh, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Emma yes. Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and yes. had to take to bed. Everyone can attest What's to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around Seven. eight o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel yes. about Zachary? 
I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind except perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was oh, depressed dude. not just sad I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa oh, really? gone even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one letting him believe she was dead then oh. again guilt isn't her strong suit the lady doth test too much I think Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. <laughs> is that all? Not very. Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing really. I'm just enjoying really? the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing oh, no. to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Okay. I did, I beat the intel. So I'm pretty sure it was the wife. No, nothing now of the beans and the cigar box. They smoke, the smoking can do it for me. Greetings, sir. Greetings, my ass, man. This is a matter of investigation. Say where the stairs, there's the stairs, right, okay. Why aren't you guys heavily armed? Listen, right here. Let's try this Something way. off. Pruitt got word his motion. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Oh dear God, not this again. So I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. It's a bathroom. No interest in the bathroom. This place is massive. Mysterious switch missing an item. Check his travel documents. Everything's in order. That is such a cool dog. Oh.
That is the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. How do I get into the... Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay, done that room. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why Don Yates should be here. He made the arrangements. Okay. Seems to be going around in circles here. I'm guessing maybe finish actually questioning people. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for no. Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and okay. see me when you do. That was just... Let's chat to this young lad again. What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary yeah. in circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow de death by boredom. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Somehow get into the room. I think it's over this way, wasn't it? Into that room. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Really? Was she though? Aaron Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohen. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number 5085. Uh, no, I need it immediately. Yes, I'll hold. No, I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? <laughs> right. I'll double check and get back to you. Okay. Okay. 
must be more in here. Or does that? Like, I mean, seriously. Okay. So, we're going with not her then, as. I received the full token for the moon from the Fitzpatrick London Bank. Did I understand correctly? I that is Alexa Carlisle, exactly. unofficial she leader the of the Provenance Partners and last one, one to be alive. You're not fearful she will be in trouble if she knows. She will start digging when she realizes things don't add up, inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Yeah. Hopefully, she'll never have to get involved at all. If you only knew what we face, I wonder what you would do. Attack? Regroup? Close the gates and wait it out? Let's go upstairs. There's people for here. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Okay. Hey, how are you? Mr. Ford. This is Carlisle. I... well... I... Demand! This could send me someone like you is beyond me.
Okay. Hello, sir. Right. You always led by example rather than by words. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve yes, romance. Yes, yes, yes. As they all say. Right, we must ask you. Rosie, tell me what yes. you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. Oh, really? When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. Okay. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside, except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out, and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, okay. will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge yeah, Manor. Yeah, she had to get rid of the other one. Okay. How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? A fake funeral tomorrow? Zachary found dead upstairs today. Death is everywhere. I never thought of it that way. Oh, God. It's such a big responsibility wow. having a baby. I got so having a baby ready right? to How would you even do that? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. That is the door to... That must be... That door up there, you mean. Oh, yes. Window? Yes, there's a window. Of course there's a window. A window on the other side, though. They're apparently not. Okay, so I need a crowbar. I need one got a crowbar. What's that? There's a crowbar. Mary is so upset. And she's never seen a dead body before. Poor thing. Alexa, back from the dead. A make believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, all too much. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be. Yes, of course it will. So I'm just about to accuse somebody of murder. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter so in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Okay, so maybe he had an accomplice? 
do all the groceries around? I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. Uh, I see for that. She never misses a step. Gossiping and words. Okay, so. Pretty sure I know who did it, I just can't. And the office. Okay. Um. The ones that come after certainly are a lot less of a worry. Okay. What did I miss? And efficient way, and I expect your cooperation in all related matters. Secondly, the arranged funeral event okay. tomorrow so will before. take place as planned. No one can know that I am still alive. I expect you all to act yes. your part. Last, as you all know, I have a lot on my plate and need to focus on sorting everything out. So please do not disturb me with your petty concerns. You are all adults and as part of the elite, you will eventually have to deal with difficult situations like this. It comes late for most of you, but this is a chance for you to show what you are made of. That will be all. Okay. Rebecca Carla. What Can you exit? tell me about yesterday evening? We don't style. really see much of each other, my brother and I. Made of. <laughs> I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not this like we sit on each other's laps. God. Now, let's That's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at yeah. nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived oh, yeah. during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. Let's see if that was everything, shall we? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very yeah. peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is there anything Just else you want to ask? Anything friends? else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. It will do for now. Ah, my perfect mother. Ha. Who would have thought? You fucked up, didn't you? 
Staging your own death? A major, grandiose cock-up, I'd say. Be quiet, Gregory. Well, it shows you're only human, after all. I never would have guessed. Yeah. Now, that said, I have not got one of the clues, apparently, to do with the office. Suspect, we've confirmed that. Edward, Kyle, where the name of all this? Oh, is that the guy who's supposed to be in the speech thing? The guy who was, so he was over here in the dining room area, wasn't he? The other dining room, or whatever the hell. There you are. Yes. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts yes. for last night? Oh, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by a mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. Uh, you should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Th did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. If that's all, I Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? The mother will surely have strong opinion on it. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Of course. Yeah. So. Yes, blah, blah. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Edward? Fancy. me. Thank you. No, I'm... Some fresh air. Okay, right. So 41 guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. So... There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good I'm time. I'm still missing something. I'm getting a headache from all the decisions. What? I mean, crap. Why not? See. Painkiller. Lethal, if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your uh, findings. Yes. I want to get the bitch first. I know she did it. And I'm not letting her off first. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, yes. 47? There's something in here.
missing a clue from that room as well. Haven't been in that one. Missing one in here. Verified his identity. I did, sir. It all checked out. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. Oh. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Okay. Chain pendant for the greenhouse. Oh. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Thank you. 
seriously. Fitzpatrick token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her? That sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. Who seen me do that? Oh no! you're holding this instant oh no you don't drop that right now render the thing in your hand understood i'm no sudden move can he Put see me what you're holding i repeat drop it oh no you don't drop whatever is in your hand right now Whatever it is you're holding, yeah, understood? Like, they see me? Drop it now! I'm gonna oh. take. 
take you down. Hey, what happened? Forty seven to I'm gonna say that for a while. Uh okay, right, so that did not go well, I will admit. That 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 yeah, we'll have that again. Okay, so she's in there. Confirm. And I still haven't found a case file, but I'm assuming the lawyer guy has that. So I'm assuming if I go out and run the window, yeah, I'll get So that may there see me. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. It feels like I can't breathe in there. The tension is off the charts. Yeah, Frank is busting our balls out here too. Stay worried about how things will be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. Well, I said they let him stay here. But if you'd excuse me. Now we'll never know. Just drone you. somewhere else. Not right up to the... Oh, I'm actually going to go in. Yeah. Let's try this again. Christ's sake. Okay. Emma Carlisle in the yeah. greenhouse. How curious. Yeah. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though.
Okay, so I have a, an exit strategy. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. All right there. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Wow. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I'm not quite dumb. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. I want all of the evidence now. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. just in, right?
Right, but there is one other thing in here. something I like miss. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur okay, Edwards. I have no idea how that woman just died. My parents were Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards. Because I let someone assassinate her because I didn't get to her in time. That counts. This thing is for the mysterious switch. Old letter 47. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly 46 years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother, Montgomery, wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. If you frame it correctly, I believe you could use the information to convince Madame Carlyle that Zachary committed suicide. Maybe you should ask Mr. Fernsby to see her. Okay, there is another one of these things somewhere. Hello there, sir. Where is it? One of these corridors somewhere. It's a bit There's this one. Okay, so that works both ways. There was something I missed. 
missed it here as well. What was it? need to get into that room. There's an open window somewhere around here. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Oh, dead. Okay. I need to find the case file.
Are you going to need to find another way in, Senor Bravoamo? That's subtle, another way in. Okay. I need a guard. Okay. What do you guys need to get distracted? Hello, Mr. Bravoamo. Go for a break, you'll be back in a little while. Sandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I, I don't know what's going on at your house. Madam Edward Carlyle is losing it again. So, why he seems to believe that Alexia has come back, yeah. from, from, back from, from the dead, from and that he has to write no, the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. Oh, I still I have the restraining order on him, eyes. so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Okay. This place, ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. Right. Oh. 
behind the portrait, you say? to Mr. Fernsby. He's in charge. safe hidden behind a painting allegedly American lawyer in the, the small office. Check his travel documents. Everything's in order. Who died? Went with a lot of high profile so I think, uh, in it. Yeah. Yeah, what you say? Sorry. Uniform statue, anyone? Anyone seen a uniform statue? Let's try downstairs. Someone's all kitted out. again, shall we? So, find the case file. It is in the safe, behind a painting. But I need the coins or something? Or, like, is there two ways to do this sort of thing? Where is her office? There is the office. 
last week. <laughs> and there's the painting in question. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Don't wave that around. Fucking camera might get over. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Sir. 
I'd say before I leave this time first, since I found it, I have it in Dunwood. Statue. Gregory, you're taking over for Mother now she's really gone. You better get your ass in gear. Oh, get off my back, will you? I'll see to things. I'm sure her people. this side and then I'm done looking for this horse. Sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? Guys, anyone see a boat? Oh, anyone? Seriously? Seriously. Was 
just gonna be running the back here by the cemetery. So many gardeners here at the same time. Yes, there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow. Yeah, gardening is what you worry about when it comes to the funeral. I have the key, but I'm not allowed to use it. Ah, come on. Are you serious? I got the key. I did have the key. use about I got the key I did the work why am I not allowed to use it I was thinking I'm happy about that security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow <laughs> that'll uh, be ain't that stage anymore <laughs>
pick. Oh, oh, mockery. Okay, it's not the bathroom. Deliveries. The green has. Yeah. Staff room. Well, there. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. Oh, and no, I meant Diana. it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. shortly. 